Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous videos we covered the conditional statements in SAP ABAP new syntax. Now we can use the POND statement as a replacement of IF statement. We can use the SWITCH statement as a replacement of CASE statement. And we did the practical for the same. We developed a program which is using con statement. We developed a program which is using switch statement. Now we will go for a journal topic. What is the purpose of hash? In this video, I will show you how you can use hash in con statement how you can use con how you can use hash in switch statement and it's not a journal thing or it's not a topic that you can use hash only in switch and con statement in the future you will learn value operator at that time also we will use hash in the future you will run chorus you will learn corresponding operator also at that time also we will use hash so hash has a journal meaning Whenever you are using hash, what are the various points we need to take care? And in all the future videos also, I will show you how we can use hash, how we can use hash with those operators also. Suppose if I will go for the program. In this program, we are using cond statement. And I used a SAP predefined data element character 20. This, this predefined data element has a domain of character 20. And we are assigning the output to LV underscore text. And I used inline data declaration. It means whatever the output we are taking lv underscore text is of character type it has a length of 20. suppose if i will show you in the debugging mode so system is taking the type and length of lv underscore text based upon this data element which we are using this data element has a domain so system is taking the type and length from the domain which is the part of this data element Suppose if I am running the program, extremely important use concept because it's a generic. Whenever we will learn the future topics also, at that time also we will use hash. Suppose here, if I will show you LV underscore text, you can see LV underscore text is character 20. And how it is character 20? Because system simply, simply understood that you are using a data element. Data element has a domain and the output which is assigning to this LV underscore text, LV underscore text is character 20. Because we have not declared, we have not done the explicit data declaration. We have not written LV underscore text type C or you can say length 20. We are going for inline. We have done the inline data declaration. Now we will go for the hash. Now how we will use hash? Many times people will always go for a generic coding. They will use hash here. Similarly, we can use in switch also in the future topics also. Now I am using hash rather than using the data element. Now whenever I will do the syntax check, system will give me the error. System will clearly say it is unable to understand the type. No type is derived. System is unable to understand what will be the type of LV underscore text. You are assigning the result to LV underscore text and system is unable to understand the type. Previously, we are using the data element. So system understand the type and the length based upon that data element. Now you are using hash. So in that case, how, how you will resolve the error? Because in this case, you are going for inline data declaration also. So how we will resolve the error? Simple. 
just go for the system and now i will go for explicit data declaration i'm saying lv underscore text is of character 20 now i can simply simply remove this because i explicitly declared lv underscore text and now if i will check the syntax the error is sort you have to define in either way make a golden rule if you are using the SAP predefined data element here, then here you can go for inline data declaration. No problem because SAP understood from this data element itself. Now you are using hash. If you are using hash and if you are going for inline data declaration also, our system understand that you want to go for this particular type. In that case, you can simply, simply declare is explicitly and people prefer this way also because rather than using the data elements in the future, you will learn structure type, table type also. At that time, people will simply, simply go for hash. They will not go for structure type, table type, nothing. So in that case also, we need to declare those things explicitly. So this is one solution. So you can simply, simply declare is it explicitly and there is no error. Similarly, is for switch also. Suppose this is our switch program. Now, in this program also, we are saying LV underscore month will take the result based upon this particular data element which we declared. This data element has a domain. If I am using hash, Suppose if I'm using hash, now if I will go for syntax check, system is unable to understand what is the type of LV underscore month in which variable you are taking the output, what is the type of that? Because you are going for inline data declaration. So if you are using hash, just make a golden rule. Just make or just declare this particular variable. Now I will simply, simply remove this inline data declaration and I will declare it through explicit data declaration. It's a generic topic, golden to topic. Anyone who is conducting the interview on you based upon SAP ABAP new syntax, they will ask you, okay, what is the generic meaning of hash? If I am using hash, what are the various things I need to take care of? So what is the summary? I will just journalize the golden lines of this particular hash. What is one thing? Okay. Now, if you are not using hash, you are, you are using that data element in the future. You will go for structure type also, table type also. What is one thing? If you are using already created types, already created types means data elements, you are using structure type, you are using table type, then you can simply, simply go for inline data declaration. No problem because system will understand the result based upon the type which you are using. Now, but the second thing, if you are using hash, you cannot go for inline data declaration. You need to tell SAP explicitly that this is the type of your result. So in that case, you need to go for explicit data declaration. So this is the golden, golden two rules. It is totally your wish how you want to go. Either you need to pass the types already created types. Types means your data element, table type, structure type. If you are not using the already created table type, structure type or data element, if you want to go for generic coding, you always want to use hash, then in that case, you need to simply, simply specify those things explicitly. Suppose in the, at this point of time, it is a variable. In the future, whenever we will go for value operator, at that time, it will be an internal table. So I need to declare that internal table explicitly if I am using hash. Very, very important concept and it has a generic meaning throughout all the topics which we will cover in the future also. Whenever you are using hash, one, one thing 
SAP should understand the type. Either you are using the already created types. If you are using hash, then you need to declare those types. You need to declare those things explicitly. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.